Pertinence People Development Group is a welfare to work organisation that also delivers training interventions to support our long term unemployed people back into work. My role predominantly is to work across the business to help design bespoke innovative training programmes that will help support people back into the workplace or back into work placement and most importantly <coughs> to sustain their work once they're in there. Personal People Development Group um, deliver a number of programmes, it's not an exhaustive list, but we work um, with National Offender Management Services, we have study programme for our 16 to 19 year olds and we have work programme also. Um, the range of, of learners, we have um, learners who are in transition between vocations, um, mainly uh, for our work programme clients for example, on average they've been unemployed for five years or more, so it's really important that the training that we deliver um, and the knowledge that we're trying to, to increase with our, our customers in order for them to build their confidence, raise their self-esteem, to go forward and look for work and to sustain work is absolutely crucial. My considerations are for the customers who are going to be attending the learning. Um, your time factor is, is, is one of the key ones, you know, how often they're able to attend and of course it depends on, on us being compliant and what is required on the contracts that we're delivering on. Um, the locations, it may be more appropriate that we do small bite-sized learning for those who may have additional care and responsibilities, you know, who can only attend certain hours um, during a particular day or they may have restrictions based on the fact that they're actually claiming job seekers allowance so can only do um, 16 hours learning per week. Um, my other considerations are um, that come through the initial assessment is you know the level of their maths and English so making sure that any qualifications that we're delivering are appropriate to the level of those learners not just to enhance the level that they're at but also to help them progress and, and move to, to, to other levels. Um, further consideration then is taken around the content. Um, I found that using the personal development unit, the 7546 employability and personal development qualification um, from City and Girls has been fantastic because it's given a wide range of contexts that I've been able to write programmes around um, helping people to establish and build their confidence and their self-esteem, um, helping improving people's lives, you know, through healthy eating, you know, understanding their contributions not only to society but to the workplace, you know, and to improving their lives. Um, also, it broadens people's aspirations. There are a number of units within there that give people, you know, an idea to think if they've always done retail, it's how they can transfer those skills to potentially work in the care setting. And the 7546 qualification allowed us to do a very good mix and blend of learning that was appropriate to our individual learners. And we find that within the sessions, people are shown a lot of experience, they're shown a lot of, of knowledge, and the feedback that we're getting, you know, speaks volumes because people are actually moving forward and going into work or they're going on to further learning and doing other things within the organisation that shows that their confidence is being built. The 7546 um, qualification was quite large initially, um, that's not a complaint. Um, it had a huge range of units, so over 300 units were associated within that qualification. So you can imagine that when you're looking for particular units to select to design a programme, um, you kind of don't want to miss anything because they're all very good, but you don't have programmes long enough to be able to utilise them all. Um, they've gone through a, um, a lean process, if, if, if that's the right word, um, where they have selected the key units that they know um, and have evidence that you know the uptake has been great. Uh, employ employers recognise them, 
learners are actually taking on board and, and the pass rates, the success rates are saying that these units are the ones that will help people to, to move into to work. Um, so now there are less units, there are 100 plus units and I'm sure um, that is far more than plenty for me to be able to, to use the unit picker to help me design relevant um, training programmes for our deliverers to use. Um, still the range is from entry 2 to level 2 so it covers a wide range of abilities. Um, the unit titles I feel now are more relevant to the workplace and are more specific to particular areas of skills and knowledge development. So where your focus is about presentation, you know, the interview process, I think those units have been rewritten in a way that it is more defined, um, a way that our learners will be able to take that information and be able to recall it a lot easier. It still remains as being portfolio based mainly, um, all of the units. Um, which is fantastic for our customers because they can go at their own pace um, building their portfolios and gathering evidence. Um, I find it's, it's, it's an interesting time. I'm really looking forward to, to using it. Um, I'm glad that the unit picker is still in existence as well, which is a fantastic tool um, to help you select the right units for your programmes. You know, I get excellent support from City and Girls. I'm always in touch with our business development manager. You know, if I have any queries, if I want to, to ask a question about combinations, um, you know, they're always on hand to, to answer and support. So I'm looking forward to using the 5546. They've just released um, a really good e-learning uh, program, um, employability skills. Um, I've had a look at it and navigated around it and I think it's been a long time in coming. It's absolutely fantastic. The graphics are good. The, the interaction with the learner to the tasks that they're being asked to do on screen are really good and just sums up all of the delivery that you would do via using the standards within the 5546, the reinforcements of learning is, is absolutely brilliant and uh, we're piloting that at the moment and we're getting some really good feedback as to how that's going. And we also use uh, functional skills, maths and English via City and Girls. Yeah, City and Girls all the way.